Yeah, trapdoor spider. Oh. <laughs> Got his leg, that counts. Alright everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, we've had a lot of rain in the North Texas area, which means there should be a lot of interesting creatures on the prowl. Today I'm hoping to show you guys things that are usually subterranean, underground. And now with all this rain and activity, they've been crawling up out of their holes, out of their burrows, and they're on the move. Maybe in search of a better place, maybe in search of a mate who may have also been displaced with the rain. So let's see if we can find any cool and interesting animals that might be on the prowl in this beautiful deciduous wood. Let's go. Take a look at this guys. Look at that beautiful ebony jewel wing. Wow, I'm gonna have to bring my camera out here and get some video of those. Those are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful damselflies. That's really cool to see a healthy population of them all along this amazing, pristine creek. Be sure to buy the new merch. Widows of the World, Jack's World Wildlife, under the description below. It's awesome. It looks great when it's not sweaty. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It's my body thermoregulating. If I don't sweat, I'll die. So, put up with the sweat. Still get that fresh drip, though. Jack's World Wildlife, TM. Somebody dropped their dinner. It's organic. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh, guys, guys, come here. Look at this. Oh, don't move. Don't move. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Oh, aha. easy capture. This right here is what appears to be a male Umidia genus trapdoor spider. Whoa, so these awesome little creatures are ambush predators. So what they do is they create a little tunnel and then just as you guessed it, they have a trap door that hinges open and closed and they kind of web up these sensory webs on the outside of their burrow. So when unsuspecting insects or even other arachnids or small lizards and even frogs, and anything else that's small that it could eat, the list goes on, walk across those little webs, this spider, boom, jettisons out, grabs the unsuspecting animal, and whoop, pulls it back underground, never to be seen again. Now this appears to be a little male. He's probably out with the rain, but also he's out to mate. The females really don't have to move around all that much because their lifespan is much longer. These males, once they reach adulthood, they've got a mate, and if they don't, they die in a few months. Even if they mate, they die in a few months. They don't live for very long. The males are just for one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to make more spiders. So don't you guys love that? But take a look. I'm wondering if we could get it to do a threat display. These animals have really cool threat displays, like, like the funnel web spiders in, in Australia. They throw their arms up and they bear those fangs. Let's see. Oh, it's okay, buddy stick my finger in there. Do it. Uh, uh. I don't want him to bite me. He will like grab on. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that down on the bad idea list. Because really and truly, uh, I wouldn't at all be unsurprised if some of these trapdoor spiders had pretty toxic venom. Um, they're, they're usually great at procuring prey really quickly and strong venom is always helpful to help you do that. Wow, look at that animal. Come take a look, guys. Check out this really cool little spider. 
Wow. Shall I hold it? Yeah. Let's see. I don't want to drop him. Look at that. That is cool. Oh, he's so heavy. Oh, come take a look at this, guys. Oh. Let's see if I can kind of turn him around. Oh. Put him on my face. Whoa. Oh, it's okay. Shh. Let's see if I can get it on my face, huh? Little male Umidia trapdoor spider. Oh, he's gonna make a trapdoor in my nose. Have to hunt insects in my nose hairs. Wow, what a cool little animal. Now come take a look at the front limbs here, folks. See those front two limbs he's got there? Those are actually not walking legs. Those are his petty palps. And see how they're kind of hooked at the front. He's not really using them like legs. He's kind of keeping them off the ground. Those are just really sexual appendages. He's using those to kind of help mate with the female and pass on a spermatophore to her so that she can produce babies. Because otherwise you're going, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten legs. Spiders don't have ten legs, and you're right. These are reproductive aids, not true legs. So, you know, he's just letting it all hang out, I guess. Yikes. Catch a charge, Mr. Umidia. Take a look at this spider again. Oh. Ah. Look at that. Oh. So cool. Wow, what an interesting little spider. These are super cool. It's very uncommon really to come across these because they live underground. Um, they're fairly sedentary for most of the year, which means they stay in one spot looking for prey. Um, so to catch them out like this, it's most common to find these males. The females, they find where they wanna be and if they're getting enough food, they're gonna stay there. Uh, you gotta dig those up. So it's really awesome. I've actually never found one up here before. So that's really cool. These are some of our largest trapdoor spiders that we have in North America. Oh, almost dropped you. There's these beautiful Umidia. Wow, look at that, guys. This is such a cool little spider. That's so awesome. Well, we're gonna try and get some really good footage of this guy uh, for the video for you guys. And then we'll let him get back to hopefully finding a female. That's what he's trying to do. So let's get some pictures and we'll see what else we can, see what other mysteries the forest may hold. Wow, one last time, look at that, guys. <gasps> sweet, sweet little Umidia, male trapdoor spider. Once again, spiders are not something that's gonna come after you, something that's gonna attack you or something to be afraid of. They're just animals trying to make their way, trying to make their way in the universe. Look, he's just found a place to rest in the hole of my hand. Look what a cute little boy. I got his leg, that counts. I'm not gonna pin him too hard because I don't want a big old bite to the mouth. A lovely little kiss. Really cool, let's get some cool footage of this guy. Well, we got some really cool shots of this beautiful little spider and we will let him get back to doing whatever it was, whatever he was here to do. I think we all know what. Hopefully he's successful in finding a female to mate with. So thank you very much. We're gonna release him in the direction he was kind of headed, right on these stairs. So here we go. Beautiful male Umidia trapdoor spider. Here we go, buddy. And he's off in search of a female. Wow, what a cool little creature. Oh, oh, I'm not a female. I'm not a female. I'm not a female trapdoor spider, but there he goes. Super, super cool. Well, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about these really cool and unique trapdoor spiders that you probably didn't even know were here. So, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, buy our brand new merchandise. If I can air it out. Buy our brand new merchandise. We've got a ton of new designs already out. We've got a ton of new designs that are coming out this year. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support that you give us. Be sure to tune in next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife and take it easy.